previously on D&D World TV. Stay tuned. We're going to go in the Golden Corral real quick. So it's nice out today, y'all. Mine got this uh, rice piece that he's banging out. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and head over to the mall real quick. Right y'all too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there's Plus anything, for us, it's fun. Like, what the hell you keep on cutting me off? You know what I'm saying? For these young people that's in these relationships, for the older people that don't think that young people <laughs> can't do it or they're not in love or whatever yeah. the case is, like... For the older people that, that think that way, I'm sorry for what y'all been through or whatever the case is. What I meant to say is get a life and stop hating. Please. I really want to do something with your life and you really want to have a family, if you really want to sit down, sit down. Like, set, set goals. Set Instead goals. Sitting down thinking, oh, you know, so and so party, you know, or I need this, that, yeah, shoes you need and this. clothes, yep. you know. Yeah, like really think about it. Like, look at me. Look at me now. Like, I ain't got on no Gucci shirt. To me, most where we're from, um, Indiana, it seems. I'm like pretty sure a lot of people in these cities do it though. But well, that's yeah, still, I'm ahead. sure it's everywhere. But a lot of people like to do stuff for show. Yeah. You know, like waste money on stuff to show, like clothes, shoes, cars, right. like. Right. Just like put all that, you know, set goals. Yeah. Do something that's gonna have you sick, you know, good for life. Right. And that's what we're working on, man. We're working on and like. And then, you know, if you want to show yeah. up with the shoes and clothes, that's all great. You, if you, from, you know, yeah. if you can afford it. But y'all that be thinking that we putting all this other stuff before, you know, trying to own a home or work a really good career. Yeah. You know. Go out there. I'm probably there. all over the place with my words, but set goals. Yeah, Don't set. worry about all that small stuff, all that stuff. Right. All the, you can have all the fun later on in life, but yeah. when you're young, you really want to set yourself up for right. success for when you get older. Yeah. Because, I mean, how me and Desha roll, we roll, like, a little bit older. Like, some people be like, oh, y'all don't go to the club together. Like, <laughs> y'all don't do this together. Like, no, nah, not really. Like, we really don't like clubs like that. And, and I really think, to me and be honest, all things the truth to be honest with you like i don't really think that this is my personal opinion i don't really think that i need to take this to a club to go dance like i mean it might be cool maybe a bar or something like that but it's just too many crazy people out here to where they feel like they gotta violate your girl and disrespect you or a girl might violate you and disrespect like we don't have time for that like the only thing we gotta do is turn on some music in the crib and get busy <laughs> <laughs> Turn all the way up, like <laughs> that you know, didn't even sound right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Throw that thing, bite. Huh? No, I was messing. I mean, like dancing wise, you know. But that's just our opinion. Like we don't need to go and spend ten dollars to look at some people and watch other people <laughs> dancing, holding bottles and stuff like this. Huh? Get over there holding <laughs> bottles, doing all that extra stuff. Like we really care about our well-being and our surroundings and stuff like. And, you know, people spend their money on what they want to spend it on. But I'm the type of guy right now in my life that I like my home to look nice. Like, right. I don't want to come home and shut the lights off because Nobody. not not trying to knock anybody. But in my opinion, I want to come home to a full size couch, some beds and just some comfortability because, like, you see what you work for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, rather me spending, the, you know. A couple thirty dollars or forty dollars or fifty dollars on a bottle or a hundred dollars on a bottle when I can just be spending a hundred dollars or putting it towards you know something in the house to where you can be comfortable because your personal space is everything you know what I'm saying so take care of your personal space and it will take care of your mind you know what I'm saying and it makes you want to go to work you know what I'm saying if your house is dirty and you ain't got nothing together in your house where do you go to relax work yeah, you go to work to get away and kind of think of things, but you want to be able to... some people don't care. Like, they don't care what their house is like. Nah, I feel like you got to be able to come back home to, to comfort, like, you know, at least something that make you feel good, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I think that all falls on how they was raised, too. Yeah. I don't know, but... Like, I, I mean, 
shoot, we was in my household. We was always raised to have like nice stuff in the house and stuff like nice that. Nice stuff and, and being clean. Yeah, that's how keeping it clean. You know what I'm saying? Like and respecting your and respecting your furniture and your items. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I ain't got time for kids to be like. I'm sorry, but our kids, we do not let them jump. Skip and hop even on their beds, like you know what I'm saying. Like, we want them to learn how to respect their stuff. Only thing that we let them disrespect because you know, we ain't got no option is their toys, you know what I'm saying. But uh, when it comes down to our furniture, we don't play, you know what I'm saying. We, we work hard, you know, we want to be able to relax and have fun and chill, you know what I'm saying, when we at home, you know what I'm saying, to get back out in the work on earth and the world to figure out what we really want to do. Yeah, man. Any questions, man? Like, we do this. Like, and let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. In y'all relationship, and people's relationship, and these young relationships that been that get happy over like three years, and we've been together for three years and four years. Like, that's cool and all. Don't look at it like that. Like, don't be like waiting. I can't wait till we like get to two years or are you happy that you had three like don't worry about that stuff because that stuff gonna blind you from your actual relationship you know what i'm saying like don't focus on the dates and the years like yeah you could tell people we just let y'all know because this is something that y'all need to know I think about for us. some people it's because they've been you know in bad relationships before so when they actually still in something for like a year or two years they like yeah. you know right There's but nothing wrong. The time is gonna fly regardless. Yeah, the time is gonna enjoy fly. life, enjoy the relationship. Yeah, you know, enjoy your time man. and just and be patient. Be patient with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like when we moved down to Florida, like when we chose to move down here, like they should want to move down here regardless. I wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? It was at a time where I wasn't ready. She been ready, like she was ready to go. But you know, she was like, hold on, let me like. I'm gonna wait on you. I'm gonna be patient. She didn't rush me. She didn't bum rush me. Like we need to go. We need to go. If you don't want to go, I'm not gonna be with you anymore. She didn't do that to me. She always took her time with me. And then once I was ready, I said, "All right, let's go." And then we made the option to start writing stuff down, getting stuff in order. And that's when you really figure out your relationship. When y'all can do stuff together. That's when you really start to figure your relationship out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's when I really start to figure out, like, oh, man, like, we work good together. We, we really work good together. You know what I'm saying? And figure that out. Like, if you're in your relationship, do y'all work good together? You know what I'm saying? Like, can y'all accomplish something together? You know what I'm saying? Because we do. We accomplish a lot of stuff together. If y'all spend a majority of y'all time arguing over stuff, you know, it can't ever come to common ground, you might as well just let it go. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Sometimes I like, think so. It's cool to argue. Like, arguing is it's normal to argue, but if you're arguing all the time because y'all can't never, you know, com come to common ground yeah. about some, even the simple stuff, it's just... Let it go. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that. I mean, because it's obvious y'all two different people. Y'all want separate things. Yeah, I think it's to the point that where you arguing and then you going in a fighting, like fist fighting, like that too. Me and Daisha, that's one thing I never swung at Daisha. Like I never put my hands on her. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like I have to. If I if I got to swing at her, you know what I'm saying? Like bust her head all the way wide open, like bust that mom, bust it, bust it open. Ring a dick. No, listen. If I, if I gotta like physically swing at her head, I don't need to be with her. So, I always told myself that like, if I gotta hit her to prove my point to her, she's not, you only gonna put yourself farther back in your relationship when you start hitting and doing that, even male or female. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get your point across by swinging at somebody like. Sometimes when me and Daisha go through arguments and stuff like that, like, we will literally, like, sit down and we'll argue. And, I, and I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I like to point the finger at her because I'm just one of them type of dudes where 
you know, like I'm a I'm like a go getter. Like I like to squeeze tight on things. Like if I want it, something I'm gonna go and get it. And when I feel like she ain't on the same page with me, sometimes I squeeze her in. Like, look, you ain't doing this. You don't, you don't want it this way. And I be like, nah, that's we need to do this. But sometimes when I sit down and I physically just talk to her like this, then we really start to understand. Like, okay, boom, boom, boom. Show some scenery. But let's go ahead and show some scenery. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this dude. Yo, I'm just now figuring out. Did Devon have his shorts on backwards? Devon got his shorts on backwards. It's almost time to retire them things anyway. Yeah, it is about time. All right, y'all. My watch was successfully done, completed. We're about to end up closing this video out, so uh, we'll catch up with y'all later. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you click that notification yeah. bell. What we got on? Ring a ding. Bling. We out, y'all. Bye, guys. Peace.